Hello everyone and welcome. You know, I've tested several soldering irons over the past few years and they've always been big and bulky. In fact, I reviewed a soldering station from Kiwis just a few months back and that was also rather large and cumbersome. Well, today we do away with all the bulk and we look at a compact, lightweight, take anywhere, fast heating, easy to use soldering pen from Kiwis. In fact, this is the smallest soldering iron that I've ever tested. So if you've been looking for a soldering iron that is compact, easy to set up, and brings everything that the big soldering stations bring, but at half the size, then stick around as I unbox and test this puppy in this video. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I do another product review or DIY project that you may find useful. Alright, so this is the portable 65 watt fast heating compact soldering pen from Kiwis available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $67.99. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the soldering pin itself. You get six different tips included, ranging anywhere from points to wedges and everything in between. You get a 65 watt USB plug. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to take care of it, how to use it, all that kind of good stuff. You get a mini little station right there for setting down the soldering station when you're not using it. And you get a really thick cable to power this guy up at all sorts of different temperatures and voltages, as we'll talk about in a moment. The dimensions on this guy are really compact. You're looking at seven inches, and that's including the tip when you put it on. And only three quarter inches and three quarter inches in height and width. So fairly compact and easy to carry around just about anywhere. The warranty on this unit is three years. This guy has an aluminum body making it very lightweight and having good heat dissipation. It also has a silicon sleeve right there making it easier for you to grip and more comfortable. Like I said, it brings six different soldering tips from points to wedges to help you manage all sorts of different soldering projects and they're easily replaceable. It comes with a GAN power adapter and PD power port for fast heating and works on voltages ranging from 9 volts to 12 volts, 15 or 20 at 65 watts max power. The adjustable voltage and temperature make this unit suitable for just about any type of soldering project that you may need. The heating time can be as quick as 8 seconds based on the voltage that you select. The temperature is adjustable from 176 degrees Fahrenheit to 788 degrees Fahrenheit, or that would be 80 degrees Celsius to 420 degrees Celsius. The temperature is adjustable with an onboard easy to read OLED display. All the controls and everything are right on the unit right there at the top. This unit has a built-in algorithm for optimal performance, plus child lock, sleep mode, and left or right hand usage. We'll take a little closer look at all the features on this guy in just a moment. So for the price of a big bulky soldering station, you can now get this lightweight, compact, and easy to use soldering pen, which is one half the size and weight of a full size station. All the controls are on the unit itself and it's compact enough to fit into your pocket, take it anywhere and use any problem that you may run into. So let's test this puppy out and see how it performs. All right, guys, let's take a little closer look at this soldering pen and take a look at all the different features that it has. There's a soldering pen right there. There is the GAN power port right there. You have your PD charger on the back. Plug it in, and you're ready to go with this guy. Put that aside. Here are all the different tips that are involved with this guy. You can use all these different tips. Let me give you a little closer look at them, and they're very nice tips. There you go right there. You have everything from points to wedges. You can see right there all sorts of different size tips for different purposes so you can tackle just about any project out there. Look very good quality, nice insulated material on the back, nice metal and so forth. They look very good, very durable, hopefully last for a good long time and you can change them out as you need them, take them along with you, very convenient if you want to go mobile with this guy. 
And this guy is very convenient for just that purpose for going mobile. You see you have a little cover right here on the front because this is not the way you use the unit. This is just a sleeve that you put on it. You take it off and there you have the pen exposed, ready to use it when you go anywhere. So it's convenient to put it in your pocket, carry it around with you if you need to be like a mobile technician or something going from place to place taking care of different projects. Now this guy right here has a nice little silicon sleeve right there. Very convenient, has indentations for your fingers and so forth. So you can hold on to it conveniently, make it nice and comfortable for your hand and for heat insulation, all that kind of good stuff. So very convenient. As far as the tips go, I already have one installed, but to put it on, take it off, very easy indeed. All you do is give it a good tug, give it a little twist and a tug, and it slides right out. Easy as that. To put it back in, same thing, just push it all the way down and make sure that it is seated fully. Push it down like that, make sure it seats, give it a little twist, make sure you're in there, and you're good to go. That is how easy it is to change the tips from one to the other. Now the unit itself, like I said, it's nice aluminum body, very lightweight, very comfortable. You have your controls right here on top. These two buttons, up and down, that's how they control everything. And your OLED display is right up here, and that's how you control everything. I'll give you a little closer look in a moment when I have this guy plugged in. But it's a nice OLED display for all your different functions. There is your USB connector on the back. So very cool indeed. Now, let me put this guy back on here. And I'll bet you're curious, how does this compare to a regular soldering iron? Well, let me give you a little comparison. Let's put this guy right down here. And let's take a look at a regular soldering iron. There you go. That's this guy right there. Normal, that's the cord that obviously you have to plug it in. But there you go. That is your soldering iron right there. Now, I bet a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, wait a minute. There's not that much of a difference. Oh, ho, 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 hold on, my friend. We forgot this part right here. You can't use this guy without this guy. That is your soldering station right there. Where this guy over here, all you need is that. That's it. So these two guys work together, these two guys work together. So what would you prefer if you had to be a mobile technician going from place to place? To carry all this around with you or to carry these guys around with you? For most projects, this guy will probably take care of everything. There might be some situation where you may need a big bulky one, but this is better for home use or shop use where you have this stationary in one location. This is much more convenient for going mobile. So there you have it, typical soldering iron, and you have all the control panel right there in the front. Very nice. Like I said, this is another one from Kiwis, and I tested this a few months ago. Very nice unit. I've used it a bunch of times since I tested it. It's worked out very nice for me. And I'll put up a link in the corner of this video if you want to go check this guy out. A very nice soldering station with all sorts of different features. But very big and bulky. That's why today we're looking at getting rid of the bulk and having something very compact. Now, let me give you a little look at the cable that comes with this guy. Put that aside. And here is the cord, the cable that comes with this guy to power it up. There's your USB-C connector right there. Very good thick ends to it. And let me give you a comparison to a normal USB cable. There you go. Your typical USB cable right there and this cable here. The thickness of this cable is also insane. Look at that. That is your difference right there. Very, very different from a standard cable to this one that Kiwis includes with this. And by the way, this cable, when you unravel it, is 47 inches in length. So it gives you quite a long cable to work with and very thick. So you should not have any trouble with overheating or overcurrent on this cable for here. So let's take a look at this guy. I'm gonna set this guy up and let's do a little soldering and see how it performs. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of testing and see how this little guy performs. I haven't plugged it in yet. I haven't powered it up. I'll do that in just a moment. But we have the tip ready, all set, all ready to go. And we're going to test it on a couple of wires that I put together right here. And this is just a test to see basically how well this guy performs, how it heats up, how this compact little unit without a big bulky power station, how well this guy can actually do some soldering on the go. Very lightweight, easy to take anywhere. Is it really worth it? Does it really do its job properly? Or do you need a big bulky station? We're gonna find that out right now. So I have a couple of wires on these helping hands to help me do it. And uh, this is not gonna be an instructional video on how to solder. So if you don't know how to solder and you wanna learn how to solder, I suggest you find another video that'll go into more detail on how to do soldering. I presume most of the people watching this video already know how to solder. So I'm not gonna get into instructions and methodology on how is the best way to do it. 
it. I'm just going to do it and show you how this guy performs because this is a review video, not really an instructional video. So let me power this guy up. I already have the solder right here ready to go. And let's see how this guy performs. And we plug this little guy in. And there you go. There's the logo. And it tells you to power it on. It won't do anything until you power it on. Hit the button. And it starts doing its own internal calibration because it's brand new tip. So it has to do its calibration. That gives you a look right there at the OLED display. And I can see it already smoking. Where it's basically heating it up. You can see the smoke right there. It's already heating up and probably burning off the tinning on the tip. Look at that. Really, really quick. Really quick. You can see right there it's running on 20 volts. And it's set to uh, 420 centigrade. So we're going to let it go through that. And it's already starting to heat up really, really nicely. Let me see. Let me see if it's ready to go. And wow, this guy is quick. Woohoo. Look at that. It's already melting the solder very, very quickly. Look at that. I already got some solder on this wire without even having to wait. Just in the moments that I was talking to you guys and telling you about it. Look at that. It already melted the solder. This is really a quick little guy. Very quick and ready to go. Look at that. I already have that wire soldered up in no time at all. That is very, very quick. There you go. It tells you exactly what it did right there. It calibrated and was ready to go in a matter of seconds. So this is really a nice little unit and a lot of power to it. And it's not even hot. I can tell you that right now. I mean, I can feel heat coming off the tip, of course. But if you hold it right there, it is not hot at all. It is comfortable to the touch. So that's very convenient right there. Very nice. No, it is not uncomfortable in the slightest. The cable is not hot at all. Not in the slightest. Very nicely balanced unit. I must say it does very much, very well with all the power that it takes in. And it heats up very quickly. So that is very, very nice right there. A good little unit at a very affordable price, and if you want to have something very compact and easy to carry around with you. So that gives you a look at the display right there. And you can go into the menu and make all sorts of adjustments if you want to do that for whatever project you need. But right now it's set at the maximum power, which is good enough for my testing right now. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a powerful yet compact little soldering pen from Kiwis. I think this is a great little soldering pen. Very compact and easy to take anywhere and use almost instantly. You saw how quickly it did its calibration and heated up in just a matter of seconds. For the price of a big bulky soldering station, you can get this compact and lightweight little soldering pen instead and you can take it anywhere very easily. For the mobile technician, I think this is a must tool to have on hand. For the home hobbyist or anyone working on small delicate soldering projects like circuit boards or jewelry, this will make a great addition to your soldering arsenal. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Questions, comments, put them down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.